All right, brand new episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. And today's topic is how to heal from a breakup. Yes, those nasty breakups that I personally had and I know you're probably dealing with and you're saying, why are you smiling like that? But let me tell you why it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. No matter what you've done, if you are watching this or listening to this and you've tried everything, and I mean everything, to make the relationship work, or we've had one-on-one coaching sessions together and we've tried, right? It's time to move on, right? Whether you broke up with them or they broke up with you, remember, life is not happening to you. It's happening for you. Right? Can I get a flex now? Yes, relax. <sighs> Breathe, right? Seriously though, if you haven't by now, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you do, whether it's on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, and Google, get on it because this is going to rock your world. What are we gonna do to make our breakup go soothing and soothing? Did I say soothing? Yeah, soothingly awesome, right? I don't want you stressing out anymore. Number one. We're gonna start meditating, all right? So if you haven't meditated to any of my meditations, get on it. We have AM and PM meditations. We need to center yourself, seriously though, on a serious note, no matter what, and I know it's not easy going through a breakup, no matter what type of breakup it is, you need to ease and calm your mind, your body, and your heart, right? Because healing takes time right? And so does everything, right? Whether it's getting in good shape or getting the job of your dreams, anything takes time for it to become awesome, right? So in all seriousness, let's start with one daily guided meditations, whether you use mine, right? For my podcast and YouTube show or any others that you enjoy. This is so important, all right? Number two, Stay busy being positively productive. What is being positively productive, right? Doing things that you love to do, right, that keep your mind and body busy, whether it's you like to do sporting events, whether you like to work out, whether you like to play sports, whether you like watching movies, and it's something that you're growing from, not just anything, right? Something that makes you feel good. Say you like cooking. Take up some cooking classes or just cre- get creative in the kitchen, right? Whether you like, maybe you like to draw, maybe you like to paint, whatever it is that you love to do, start getting preoccupied with that, right? What I don't want you to do is the following, right? And there's more things that I want you to do, but what I don't want you to do is start going on dates tomorrow, next week, or even a month from now. You need time to heal. You need time to feel, look, and just be amazing being alone. Yes, being alone, let me tell you, is an amazing thing. And I know you may be saying, well, no, I don't like to be alone. I don't even like to sleep alone. I was sleeping with someone for X amount of years. Look, whether you've been with someone for only for a few months, a few years, decades, it doesn't matter. It takes time to adjust, but you need to become your priority, right? And a lot of times when we break up, we're putting other people as a priority, right? And you have to make sure that you are numero uno, number one, right? So until you heal and become the best version of you for you, how do you expect to be happy with somebody else, right? Regardless if this last breakup was not your fault or was or it doesn't matter, you need to become happy, and I mean truly happy with you and doing activities that cause you to become happy, right? Doing, like I said earlier, things that are gonna make you prosper. If you're not meditating by now, start it. If you're not working out by now, start it. If you're not doing activities that you love, start it, right? You know, and I can tell you firsthand in my own past relationships, I was putting myself last. How do you put yourself last? By simply putting that person above first and foremost. And I get it, that's an amazing partner that you are. But it takes two, right? Two people have to be growing individually and together as a partner, right? As a partnership. And if that's not going down, maybe that's another reason why the relationship didn't work out. So let's now focus back onto 
what we're going to do. What other things can we do? I want you to start journaling, right? You may have done journaling before. Maybe you haven't. I want you to really take at least five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening, whether it's on your iPad like I have right here or writing down with a piece of paper and pen. I mean this, when you write down how you're feeling, it's self-therapy, right? So I want you to make a list of A, in the morning, how you feel, all right? Whether it's happy, sad, mad, whatever. And then write a list right next to it saying, how do you want to feel, right? Right? The next list is, what do you want to accomplish today? Keep it simple, just for five minutes. Then at nighttime, I want you to reflect and put down how your day was. How was your day, right? Was it good? Was it bad? What could have I improved, right? Now, out of all the things that you wrote down in the morning, that you wanted to accomplish, what did you comp- What did you accomplish? What did you not accomplish? Start really zoning in on these things and level yourself up. Look, I can coach you day in and day out like I do with many of my clients on phone, uh, sorry, on the phone, via Skype, and, 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 and you may be a client right now watching, right? We really need to zone in on self-therapy, right? Like, one of my many coaches that I've had throughout the years always says you are your best doctor, right? You truly are your best doctor, right? You can prescribe the way to happiness and staying busy, but doing these productive things are gonna make not only time pass faster, but a lot of self-reflection on who you are, what you deserve and knowing your worth. You gotta really focus and own on these things. And lastly, one of my favorite things that I'll tell you to do, which is the best project of working on yourself to heal throughout a breakup is get rid of everything. And I mean everything that reminds you of your past relationship, right? Remember, living in the now is the most important thing. Living in the past is living in depression. Living in the future is gonna bring you anxiety. What's going to happen? What could happen? Don't give yourself anxiety. And don't reflect back onto, oh my God, but remember all those good times we had? Yeah, but obviously there was clearly enough bad negative times, which is why you're single right now. And I'm gonna add one last thing here. I want you to write a list, one last list, and make this separate on your journal as to your worth right? All the things that you know that you're awesome at, write them down. Write all the things that you're good at, right? This is giving you a self-injection of inner positive happiness. It's blowing up yourself and your ego. And yes, I know your ego is totally different from your brain, but I need you to make yourself step up and feel awesome about yourself. If you have to go back in time only to reflect on amazing things you've accomplished and that's the only time I'll tell you to go back, then do so. Write down all your accomplishments. Write down all the things you're amazing at. So by the time you heal yourself, because you need this time to heal, right? In a relationship with yourself, by the time you find or find, or sorry, or a partner finds you, you're gonna feel so good because you attracted that right person, right? And, and if you're wondering, well, how do I know if it's the right person or if it's not a toxic person or a narcissist, go back to previous YouTube and, and uh, podcast episodes to kind of know the guideline on how to derail and stay away from those people and how to spot them. But, uh, but I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I know this is not the best or easiest times, but you're gonna get over this and you're gonna come out like rocking. I need you to look in the mirror and say, I am a badass, I am awesome, I am beautiful, and I know my worth. I mean it, and I mean it. Please leave me your comments on this. Write down any questions or send me voice messages through the podcast. I wanna hear your feedback or any particular things that you're stuck in. If you're saying, no, Jason, I just need more one-on-one time with you, Go ahead and click the links um, to do one-on-one coaching with me, no matter where you live, whether it's in the States, 
if you live in Europe, if you live in Latino America, me da igual, te lo juro. That means it doesn't matter, I swear. We can get through this. But hopefully these tips helped you enough that you don't need to, whether, whether it's developing and, and transforming your mind, your body, your soul, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with others, you got this, but you gotta want it. Do you want it? I'm listening. Do you want it? I hope so. Listen, send you my love, mucho amor. Please, and I mean please know that you got this. The sun is always shining and it's sh shining on your favor, all right? So don't get stuck in a funk. You're so much better than that. Keep it caliente. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.